The pandemic, lockdowns and COVID-19 affected many aspects of our lives and these pandemic struggles hit share houses as well. Here at flatmates.com.au, we interviewed over 9,000 members from across Australia to find out what it's really been like living in a share house during a pandemic. Managing your finances in a worldwide health event was no easy feat. In fact, 30% of you are in a worse financial position now than you were before the pandemic began. 13% of you asked your landlord for a rent reduction, and for the others, it was moving back in with mum and dad. The pandemic also affected rental prices. Dream rentals in the CBD and inner city got that tiny bit cheaper. The average price for a room in Melbourne's Fitzroy went from 280 pre-pandemic to now 267. What a bargain. While rents in the inner city dropped, tree and sea change areas rose. I think people finally realised that it's so much nicer working from home when you can live by the beach. 55% of renters wanted to ditch their current suburb for a better one, with 21% wanting to move somewhere with more green space and another 19% wanting to move closer to some water. COVID also affected our relationships within our share houses. And for many, it was make or break. Of the 16% of sharers who decided to shack up with their partner during the pandemic, more than half of these have since broken up due to pressures from COVID and lockdowns. But Almost half of renters say their relationship with their flatmates is the same, with a further 10% saying that they're closer than before. In fact, 22% say the best thing about living in a share house is the friendships that you make. The past 18 months have been tough, and whilst it hasn't been smooth sailing for everyone, the pandemic has shown to many renters just how rewarding life can be when it's shared.